So you want to be able to produce top quality songs, whether it be dance music, hip hop, pop, or even film music. In this video, we will cover the crucial basics of getting started with FL Studio 21. What's up, my name is Kilian K. I'm an electronic music producer myself with over 60 million streams on Spotify and I figured out the best way to actually start my YouTube content journey is by explaining the basics of the program I use on a daily basis the past three to four years where I actually produce my songs. So in this video, we will cover the most basic structure of FS Studio 21, how to set up patterns, you're gonna look in the browser and the channel rack, how to use the piano roll, the playlist and the mixer. So really basic stuff to get you going in your first project. This video is actually not scripted, so it's kind of freestyle and I'm probably gonna talk a bit faster and cut a bit fast to keep the pace for you guys but if you have any questions just leave a comment i'm gonna answer as deeply as i can and maybe also do some future videos about it if there's something you really ask for let's dive right into the project so if we open my new project in FS Studio, it will always look like this. If you look at the left side, you can see one of the most important things, is the browser window. This is where you will see all your samples and your favorite sounds you can drag and drop into your songs. For example, FS Studio comes with their own sample pack called Packs, in which you already can find a variety of sounds, like for example, drums, kicks, hats, snares, toms, sound effects, instruments, and so on. If you have your own sample packs, you can also use them here in this window. For example, I have my sample pack zero. And the only thing you have to do is click on options, file settings, and then you can click on these folders and change the location or choose the location of your sample packs and they will appear here in this field as well, where you can browse through all your samples if you want. But for this tutorial, I will stick to the FS Studio sample pack. Going from the browser and the menu up, up here, this is like the most important thing in the menu, you will see the most used button like play, stop and the BPM number, which is here. And you can change it by just left clicking and putting it down and up. And the BPM is just determined the speed of your song for example if i play it and increase it to 200 you can hear that it's going faster or slower and depending on your music you want to make you will adjust this so i'm a dance music creator so i'm just gonna stay at 126 which is more or less like my four on the floor dance music when it comes to creating songs in fs studio one of the most important things is actually the channel rack or the patterns you find it by clicking on this symbol here, which is the channel rack. One of the first things I would advise is to click on here and click on detach, because normally if you click away from it, it will always hide. But if you click on this arrow and click on detached, it will stay no matter where you click, which is kind of handy if you talk about workflow things. As I said, FS Studio is kind of unique in the way when it comes to creating music, as we will create our music in so-called patterns only, which we then later will insert in the playlist. So this is the channel rack, and this big one here is our playlist. So we have our playlist playlist here and our channel right here. In the playlist, we will basically insert our patterns later on and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's imagine we want to make a simple drum beat, okay? So FS Studio comes with these four presets already opened. So if we click on this, we can actually preview the kick just by clicking on it. And let's say we want to just program a simple, simple drum beat. We can go in the channel rack and we can just click on the steps with the left click here on every fourth. And if we then go in the pattern mode, because this is our pattern, not our song, click on pattern and we click on play. We have our first four on the floor kick beat. Isn't that insane? <laughs> so the same goes with the clap, for example. If we do a clap on the two and four, of course, we have a simple groove beat here. And if we then add an hi-hat, we get our first pattern. So let's say we want to rename it. We click on the pattern up here and we're just going to press F2 and call it like kick plus clap. Let's delete the hi-hat here by holding right click. This groove is just a pattern, right? And if we want to make a song, we have to do our song in the playlist. That means the kick and clap, we can choose it here and just with left click insert it in our playlist. So now it's here. And if a studio switches automatically between pattern and song, for example, if we're in the pattern mode and we click on our playlist, it will automatically change to the song one. Let's say we want to insert our hi-hats from here. We would then create a new pattern called hi-hats and then just insert, let's say, off uh, an offbeat hi-hat here, which sounds like this. Maybe one more here. And then we can just paste it in here. And as you can see, we have the kick and clap first. And then the hi-hats are coming. And this is basically the whole structure of how you make music in FS Studio. You will always create your instruments and drums and samples in here, and then you will structure your track with all the patterns in the playlist here. So let's say we want to add an instrument. We can go to the sample pack here, or let's say we want to change the kick, for example. We can choose our kick and clap pattern here, and let's say we want to change this sound to another kick. Then let's just go to kicks and 
find a cake we like, for example, this one, and it automatically changes it. And let's say we want to have some toms in there as well. We can just choose the tom we like, drag it in there and just paste it as we want. For example, if we now want to add, let's say an instrument, we go an instrument, let's say a keyboard, and we can just drag the instrument in here as well. And then we have our, our keyboard here. If we then go and right click piano roll, it will open the piano editor where we can actually draw our notes, which is another topic. But here you could, for example, if we want to create a piano, we would make a new layer here, call it piano. We'd go in the piano roll by clicking right click and piano roll. And then we could basically just insert our notes. Let's just do a normal C chord because it's easy, right? And I don't know. Let's uh, do an E chord. And you can click with left click. You will always click the length of the last note. For example, if we have a note like this, if I click on this one with left click, I can paste long notes. If I click on this one with left click, I can paste shorter. That makes the workflow actually quite fast. So the piano in FS Studio is really, really unique. And uh, you can mark it by holding control. And then for example, control arrow key down and we have our chord progression. Really beautiful, I know. Yes, let's say this is the piano we want. <laughs> we can now insert it in our playlist as well. And then we have our kind of loop already. Just ignore the fact how it sounds. <laughs> okay. So now we have kind of grasped the idea of how to create songs in FS Studio. So we're going to go to the next important part, which is the mixer. And it will kind of be a bit confusing if you're new, but let's just recap what we did. We have the browser window on the left side with all of our sounds, right? These sounds and instruments will be used in the pattern editor here to create kicks and claps and instruments like the piano roll, for example. We could also take the piano and paste it in the kick pattern, for example. It doesn't have to be one for each, but it just makes it easier easier later on to structure the song, which is why I would advise to do one for each. What you could do, for example, for workflow wise, you could do one pattern and you could, could say, okay, this is like a pattern I, I, I would like, but you want to step it out to multiple ones. You can just click here. And so you can see the screen box and then you can click control copy, control copy, create a new one called snare and control paste. And it will automatically paste it in here. So you then have an additional snare for your playlist, which you then potentially could put in here. So if you have multiple patterns, you have to root them in the mixer. So that can be a bit confusing in FS Studio, to be honest, but we have the playlist here. We have the piano roll here. We have the pattern mode here, and then we have the mixer view. So what does the mixer actually do? If we are in the pattern mode, we can see these numbers here, right? And if, I, if I'm gonna just quickly play our loop here you can see in the mixer view that the kick for example is routed to number one the clap is routed to number two and so on that means we have to assign every new instrument we have to assign a new number here and we can do that by just clicking here and choosing another number what i like to do though is just to click on a sample here and just click on this track symbol this will ensure that it will automatically root it to a new track and it will also instantly create a new name for it as well so you'll later on know which sample is in which this mixer view is how it's set there to mix your song. That means, for example, you can solo your tracks here by clicking right click. And okay, you can change the volume here. You can change the panning. And most importantly, on the right side here, we have the effect slots. And the effect slots are kind of important because they're there to shape your sound. That means if you, for example, have the clap and kick. We want to shape the clap. That means we can add an EQ, for example, to get rid of some low frequencies. Shape the sound of the clap a bit like this. Then we can add a reverb because these are all the effects. Let's add a reverb here just to make it a bit bigger so you understand it. So now, and that's all done with the effect chains here. That means the audio signal is coming from our channel here. Let's say the clap. The clap is going from here in the mixer on two, then going into these effects and then in the master channel where it all will be combined in the end.
And this is basically how we produce an FS Studio just to make it really short. I just want to show you an, an alternative way of producing with drums because I'm actually not a fan of doing it like this. This is the way it's intended to be in FS Studio. And if you produce hip hop, it's I think also the most convenient way. But um, if you do, for example, dance music like me, sometimes it's just better to have more control and a better overview of the sounds you use. So what I do instead of doing these patterns of drums like this, I am actually dragging the samples in the song directly, just more like a traditional approach in my opinion. So for example, if I want a kick, mm. I'm just gonna drag the kick in here and I can just paste it by clicking left click and then um, control, highlight it, holding shift to duplicate it like this. And we have our kicks here. The same with the clap, for example, uh, let's say a snare. I like this snare, for example, I'm just gonna put it here and I'm gonna duplicate it on every second bar. And also the, the hi-hat run. And then we have basically the same thing as up here, just in all your waveform style. It's just a personal preference style, what you like best. I think the pattern one is probably faster to do, but this one gives you more control later on to, for example, shorten the sounds. You can uh, manipulate them and do advanced stuff, which I'm not going into right now, but I think this should be everything for the overview of FS Studio 21. And with that said, I'm just gonna show you a little preview of a track of mine so you can see how it will actually look if you produce in FS Studio. So let me just open something. So this might be a bit overwhelming, but in the end, my songs look kind of like this. And you can see what I just told you that, for example, my drums are layout like this instead of using the patterns, right? And every pattern you see here are my instruments. Just to give you a 15 seconds preview of a song, which is not released yet, by the way, so a little bit sneaky for the YouTube channel. That's how my songs actually look when I'm producing in FS Studio 21. I can see the shadows look like you So you can see FS Studio is a really powerful tool and I can just say it, it really is worth it to learn the program and I really love this tool. I've worked on FS Studio the past three, four years. It's just a matter of knowing how to use the patterns and the linking to the mixer channel to actually mix the track appropriate. So I hope this uh, gave you a little bit of a beginner overview. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. It's my first video in ages, so I know it's probably not a perfect one, but I would love to cover some more details if you have one. So uh, thank you for listening and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.